Hello, good day to you. Uh, today my talk is about virtual Ethernet pair, or which is called VitPay for short. So VitPay basically is a pair of Ethernet devices. So you can guess from the name. So it's a pair of Ethernet devices. You know, it works at the link layer. So VitPay, you know, can be used to co to connect you know, logically separated networks. For example, network namespaces on Linux operating systems. So if we have two network namespaces, we can use VitPay to connect these two namespaces. So VitPay finds a lot of use, you know, in environments such as, you know, Docker, OpenStack, and Linux containers generally. And even things like uh, virtual machines make use of VitPay. Um, it is, you, you may not be aware of it, but it is there. You know, in, if you have ever worked in any of the, those things that I mentioned. So, like I said, some of the uses are, you know, to connect, you know, separate network namespaces, you know, to connect a container or virtual machine to a virtual switch. Uh, so let me just give a definition of name, network namespace because I've been mentioning that a lot. So network namespace, you know, is a logically isolated, you know, network stack on the Linux operating system. So I actually I have actually made you know another vi video where I I talked about network namespace in more details, but uh, I'm mentioning it here because I'm using it, you know, to uh basically to explain the use of uh vitpay so you see vitpay has two you no know, two hands you know basically the ethernet peers so for example here i have tap one and tap two so tap one and tap two are ethernet peers whatever comes in at tap one must come out at tap two Whatever comes in at tab two must come out of tab one. So that is, you know, basically, you know what it is. It is like a pipe. So this is the VitPay right here uh, with two, you know, two tab interfaces. So actually, let me go to the terminal. So basically to give, you know, a little bit of demonstration. So if you can actually create a VitPay. So if you I am on uh, my machine here is a uh, Ubuntu Ubuntu 16.10 but you find this in almost all the distributions so if I type IP link on this machine you see these are the interfaces that I have right now so I am going to add another interface a pair actually with pair so like I said with pair they come in pair you have to add both of them so i'm going to call it tap one um the type is the type is vit and the peer name the peer name that is the other hand of this bit pair is tap two so i've added it so if i run hyperlink again so you see now i have two more interfaces tap one and tap two so when you look at the name say so tap tap two at tap one and tap one at tap two so they come in pairs they have to come in pairs you cannot have one without the other so basically to you know further buttress my point i'm going to create two names namespaces two network namespaces so to create so right now i don't have any namespace i will add namespace let me add red and blue so I will, I will move. So I will move, you know, my tab interf uh, my vit pairs into these uh, namespaces. So basically, to do that, I will run hyperlink. I will do set tab one namespace to red. So I moved tab one to red, and I want to move tab two. So blue namespace. So if I run IP link again now, I don't have 
I, I don't see those interfaces anymore because I have moved them to you know uh, different uh, namespaces. So now that what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the namespace. So I'll run ipnet ns exec um on the red one red and i run ip address so you see this is the tab one here so i will bring it up so i will run so i'm running this command under the namespace of the red namespace so i will say ip link set tab one up basically i'm bringing up the interface and now I'm going to give it an IP address actually. So I will, I will just do it with IF config. So I'll do I config. Um, I'm going to give it 192.168.1.2 slash 24. Um, oh yeah, I have to specify the tab, the name of the interface, tab one. So I give it tab one. So if I run the IP address again, so now my tab one has you know this IP address. Let me do the same uh, set of the same things under the blue or uh, under the blue namespace. I'll do under the blue namespace. I run IP address. So I want to bring this link up or uh, site tab to up. So I want to give tab two an IP address. So I'll do 192.168.1.3. Let me, what's, okay, I gave this one 1.2. So I'm giving this 1.3. So slash 24. Um, and I have to specify tab 2. So you see, I have given, um, I have given tab 2 an IP address. They are both in different namespaces. Ordinarily, you, you we, I will not be able to when we have when we talk about namespaces ordinarily these two namespaces are separate you will not be able to communicate between these two namespaces but because I you know connected them you know with a vitpay I will be able to communicate so now I can ping so I will do a ping so from my blue let me do from the Red network, I will ping the IP address of the other of the other namespace. Uh, let me remember uh, to remember what the IP address is. Uh, okay, this is one dot two. Uh, yeah, so I want to ping the other side. Actually, sorry. Yeah, so I'm pinging the other side. Like I said, whatever comes in at tab one will go out at tab two. Whatever comes in at tab two will come out at tab one. So let me ping. Uh, let me do the ping from the blue namespace. Uh, the blue namespace. I'm pinging to you know one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two. So you see, I can ping. Uh, the other side so basically this this one is the one that has the dot two and the the, the other one this one is the one that I had you know the dot three so basically briefly that is what I want to demonstrate in this video um uh, to show you what vitpair is to give you a simple demonstration of how it is used they are more complex ways of using vitpay but um i believe this you know you know with this demonstration at least uh i'm trying to explain and i hope you understand the basic concept of what virtual ethernet pair is so let me know if you have a question or suggestion and uh, i can address them um yeah that is how it is so if you have worked with docker and lxc or uh, even virtual machines or uh, openv switch a lot of these things make use of the vitpay so thank you for watching bye
see you in some other videos. Take care.